Howdy folks, Grunt the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Quantaser hanging out here with Relic. Hey everybody, how's it going? Yeah, and we, we both have uh, the, the cool remote uh, RF tool storage, which I think is really fun. Kind of like the RF tools twins here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very much. I, you know, I was having a hard time figuring out who is who, because we're, we're so very much like twins now. Very much so, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we're here because uh, you've been threatening to do a collab with me for a while, and so we're, we're making good on that. And yes, uh, Yeah, it, it's ectoplasm time. So yes. what we've got, you know, I've got the, the cool ectoplasm sword. You've got one of those. We've been uh, chopping away here at the, the blazes and getting the ectoplasm drops from them. Not a, a huge set of drops, but, you know, it, it works. And then Toddy built something really cool over here. Awesome. I haven't seen this yet, so I'm quite excited yep. for this. So you stand on one of these and... Well, you just have to come close, and right. as long as I think it's like 16 blocks, you know, your standard, um, you know, I'm snacking all the, the ectoplasm, but as long as you're close enough to activate the spawner, 16 blocks, yeah. then it will just go ahead and spawn these ectoplasm guys, and so instead of having to wait for the blazes to spawn, get funneled down, and then um, the rare chance, it's like 7% chance of, of getting an ectoplasm, uh, or spirit actually, then here, you, as soon as they spawn, you just go wackety wackety, and uh, you get uh, ectoplasm, ectoplasm drops, which is cool. It sounds oh, like much, much less of a pain than the uh, than the method that we went through to get the stacks that we did. Oh yes, and and stacks. Yeah, I've got uh, three stacks, something like that. I, I mainly I was trying to get experience as well as uh, blaze rods, but you know, ectoplasm yeah. was good too. I've got co it for two for two stacks. So my uh, my viewers saw me do that in the last episode. <laughs> die, die, die. Fantastic. So yeah, I've gotten sixteen just from doing this. And uh, ju just as uh, as I'm always very very organised. Uh, well, I've picked up your a piece of your. Right, yeah, I gave you some. <laughs> I've uh, I've left my sword over in the uh, in my base, and um, as we've just found out, it's not chunk loaded. So I think we are. Potentially going to do something about that first. Well, the the thing I was thinking about over here was doing something with them. Now we've we've made the the swords, and oh, you were mentioning ah, you got to make ingots from the ectoplasm, but you can't get the the ectoplasm without killing the spirits, and if you you can't kill them because they're spirits. Yes, uh, I the, did the way to that. do that are these splash potions. You make a, a potion of harming, make it a splash potion, and then when you see the spirits, then you toss that, that splash potion. That will kill it. That will get you the ectoplasm drops. And as soon as you get two of them, you can make the sword. Brilliant. And then, then you just go ham and, you know, get lots. Yeah, I saw, I saw the recipe for the sword, and I thought, oh, yeah, it looks, it looks really easy. It doesn't look expensive, but, yeah, how, mm -hmm. did, you, uh, how did you actually start off? So, yeah, cool. Yeah. Thank you. And... Yeah, I, I don't know who pasted these, you know, splash potions on the, the wall. I think I may have done a few and somebody else did others. I, I don't know. I've slept since then and brain white. <laughs> but uh, this works. And yeah, I, I upgraded the spawners up there with four speed upgrades. So they, they do spawn much faster. Yeah, I did notice that. <laughs> yep. So, so over here, I got some stuff primed for us. Yep. Drop that in there. We're going to need three ingots each so uh, yeah. i don't have to grab the extra ones we've we got them right here so go ahead and grab three yep there you go that's my three all right i've got the rest and grab one of these pearls yeah okay got one all right and then here we just if, yep that, that's the pattern so go ahead and stick yours in and this will get us the key, the Spectre key. Okay. And uh -huh. so go ahead and grab yours. Brilliant. Now, before we do anything else with that, uh, have you made any anchors from your your ectoplasms? I haven't, no. Ah, that <laughs> is one of the favorite things I have. It's just five pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's six pieces of iron and a piece of ectoplasm. You don't even have to make ingots. And it, right. you can make things soul bound. 
Ah, okay. I didn't know that either. Here, you just got two. Fantastic. And you can just craft the that with an item, and it'll say that it's anchored. Okay, so if I die, then it's just soulbound as normal. Yes, because this is a way to get to our own little random things dimension. Right, okay. And so everything you got that you can't uh, cast a uh, soulbound enchantment on, you can just sit there and make one of these little anchors. And like I said, we've got stacks and stacks of this ectoplasm. We can sit there and make gobs and gobs of, of soulbound things. So so like the, um, the, the storage module tablet for remote access, I think yeah. we can soulbound that. Or not soulbound, but we can anchor that. Right, well, I'm going to do that uh, right now. So put that in, put that in. Anchored. It did? Cool. Done. Did. That, that's just really cool. Done did. All right. So um, I think it's it's if we just hold and press, uh, you know, right click the, the specter key for yep. a while, it'll take us to our own little dimension. Okay. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> but before we go. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. I let go of the I let go of the button then. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, you know me. I always get overexcited. <laughs> All right. So, okay. where am I? I can't see anything. No, I can't. Um, what can I see? Nothing. Hell. It says hell. Yeah. That's the <laughs> same for me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I finally loaded. Yeah, me too. Whoa! What is this? Spectra block and Spectra core. Grok, don't leave me. <laughs> well, well, yeah, because I'm I'm on my own dimension. Um, well, I think it's the a shared dimension. Although what's yeah. really weird is I'm seeing uh, looks like those tree cores glowing out through the walls, and I'm yeah. seeing some vines. Yeah, I'm seeing that too? as well. Yeah, I'm okay. saying that. So standing in the center, I'm at uh, 520 by 7. I'm at 776 by 7, Y1. Okay, so yeah, I think what we are is we're in the same dimension, but we're spread out apart that we can't see each other. But this is a single chunk. Uh, actually, I lied. It doesn't look like a single chunk. Oh, no, 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 it's a single chunk. It's just the, the walls. The walls for me are super, super transparent. Yeah, they are for me as well. And they're kind of um, uh, swirly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so. yes. Very Here's swirly. Cool. So, uh, one of the things you want to do, notice how it uh, looks like too high yes. in here. Um, so if we feed, and I think it's just raw ectoplasm to the center core, it will right. grow the, the, the building. Let's, let's have a go at that. So I've got some ectoplasm. So to the central core, right? Oh, wow. I clicked it with a stack. <laughs> oh, I accidentally did that as well. <laughs> That's cool, because now it's 64 higher. Uh, this will go up to build height, from what I understand. Right. Okay, well, I'm going to do another stack then. That is insane. Yeah. All right, so I've got three stacks in mine now. Did you notice as you're going up that the that it sort of changes color? I just did that. I just noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> so the the thing yeah. I was thinking, this is a nice little area. It's a one chunk area that's private for me, you know, because all you guys are are terrible people, and so I I can <laughs> <laughs> have a private area here for stuff, and. I, you know, I've, I've been working on the the remote storage, and I'm thinking I may dump it into here because then I can just have one travel anchor, not travel anchor, one uh, ender anchor, so this is chunk loaded. And then from wherever I am, whatever dimension I'm in, I should be able to access this because right now I can't. Let's check. Oh, hey, I can. Oh, I bet Toddy is back there at spawn or the spawn village, and that's why I can access mine. Right, yeah, yeah. And let's see. Yeah, I can't access mine. <laughs> because my base is not chunk loaded. <laughs> yep. So, cool. I think this works really nice. I'm going to return out. And 
Interestingly, it's about Y23 when it changes color. Y24 for, for whatever reason. Cool. And I came back where, where I was before. I was wondering if I'd go back to my my base, back to where you know I, I my bed or what. I think I should probably start messing about and come out of this dimension now. <laughs> <laughs> I was having what? way too much fun with color changes. <laughs> oh, oh what's you know, going those on? are fun. Yeah, you should be back here now. Oh. So the the thing I was thinking is I like the idea of. I'm going to kill me a few more uh, ectoplasms because uh, I've got about 40 some left and yeah. I want to get it all the way to the build height because yes, I was thinking indeed. of putting the, I, I like what you did and Toddy did with having Woot to generate n ender stars and yeah. ender stars, <laughs> nether stars. <laughs> That's my and, fault. <laughs> <laughs> you infected me. And then, then, um, and then using that generator way at the top of the the random things to dimension, because at that point it, it could sit there and make whatever you know withering effect way up at the top, and I don't care. Yeah. So I think um, the the nether the nether star generator isn't that a is it an eight block radius where you can get withered? I think it's eight blocks. It's a sure. decent. Yeah, I, I made the uh, undead. Um, generator and that's got a one block radius and that will kill you. I was watching non <laughs> on his video and I was going, holy cow, that's that's nasty. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly sure it's eight blocks, so we should be we should be okay. Mm -hmm. And then because you're you're intending to put your wheat farm in the actual dimension, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, because I figure that way it could be in there. I can throw a switch that'll turn it on, uh, and and it'll it'll work. Or maybe I'll I'll set it up so that when my uh, my storage drawer is full, and it doesn't have to have mega upgrades on it. Uh, but uh, once the storage drawer is full, then that should go ahead and uh, just shut off the woot farm. There's no need to have that running. Yeah, and I. I'm going to leave my woot farm where it is because I, I spent some time making a room for it. And I think I'm going to go with uh, some ender chests or something, something along mm -hmm. those lines. Um, so that do you want to show me that? Well. I, I haven't been there yet. To, to the woot farm? Yeah, yeah, sure. No. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's go there. Okay, so here we are at my base. And the woot farm is the, the woot factory is just down here and i've just sat oh, no it's not wrong way wrong way it's been i tell you it's been so long since i've been on here that i've uh, i've forgotten where where i'm going <laughs> i do know what Lead i'm up. doing i'm a professional <laughs> well, good good because uh, i'm not i'm i'm horrible at this okay so there it is <laughs> me too yeah there you we go you had shown me this room and it had nothing in it. it it still had just cobble and and stuff as you'd kind of just pound it out the walls and you yeah. talked about setting this up, and I watched your video of you putting this in place. And uh, so this is this is cool. Uh, I haven't made me a woot farm yet. Yeah, I still want to do something with the walls. It looks a, a little bit a little bit plain, but it's probably mm -hmm. going to be one of those things that I don't get around to for a fair for a fair while yet. <laughs> yeah. Let me drop down below because. Oh, you were going to... Oh, that's where you put your power down here. Yes. Yeah, it were, was. Were you thinking of uh, doing the extenders down and then having the, the access to the, the storage down below? Or? Um, do you know, I, I was at one point, but I thought what, what I'll probably do is uh, I'll just probably put a, a trapdoor on here, mm -hmm. an, iron, an iron trap door, because it, the iron will go with the quartz. Yeah, yeah, it'll look good. Um, it, it just, it's just one less bit of messing about, to be honest. This thing, mm -hmm. don't ever underestimate, obviously you won't, but for the viewers, don't ever underestimate how long it takes to grind all of these blocks out. It's, yeah. it's quite yeah. a task. <laughs> so uh, one of the things, it's it's going to chew up a bunch of uh, nether stars. About how many would you guess it, it took to make the white blocks? Uh... Not, you know, not too many actually, because they you turn them into the I think they're shards first of all. It's been a couple of weeks since I did it now, but you get quite a few blocks out of one out Isn't of one like nine star. shards out of each star, yeah. and then yeah, you, one shard gets you like four blocks, something like that. Yeah, yep. So, so. Um, I had enough because I'd, I'd obviously I'd as, 
as you probably remember from my mishaps, I had a little bit of a mess around it in mm. the nether at the Wither Farm. Um, yes, that's always fun. <laughs> and you completely, but, totally won't notice me taking uh, uh, several, uh, well, okay, 21 nether stars. I, totally I, didn't I, notice that at all. That, that, that is absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm a ninja. So fast. Nobody notices. <laughs> yeah, because oh, I was looking you know, at that well, going... <sighs> take while you're here, control. actually, because mm -hmm. there was something else... Um, that I mentioned in the last in the last episode, and that was I found one of the um, immersive engineering shader packs in yes, here. Yes, yes. Does the Woot Farm generate those, or did somebody do you think come down there and drop that in the chest? I, you know, I think they do get uh, generated by the the Woot Farm. Uh, right. And I'm I'm thinking it's probably since it's a, a boss mob, it's probably the epic shader. Was that what um, it was? No, I've, I've, you know, I've written one of these chests now. It was the Trident Shader. It's in the bottom chest. Ah, uh, well, see, that's after it's been opened. Yeah. So what you'll get, you'll probably get because the the the, the Wither is considered a boss, and so you'll probably get to the Epic Shader grab bag. And right. if you look, you've got gobs and gobs and gobs of different shader options. Those you can apply to various uh, immersive engineering items, like the balloon is, is one thing, and it will actually put a design on them. And right. I, I, I'm thinking one day I may play in creative and just apply something you know <laughs> get a, a whole row of balloons and, and sit there and apply each of the shaders to it and then i think it says what they can go on yeah i mean i've got to say i, I didn't oh yeah can can be applied to hold shift I, i've mm -hmm. got to say I've, I've never used them before and i was i was a bit confused to be honest which is nothing nothing particularly new for me <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm thinking minecart. <laughs> That's probably the thing I would use more than anything else. Indeed. We could have uh, minecarts there at the the rail station uh, with with shaders on them, of different colors. That'd yep. be pretty cool. Personalized minecarts, Grok. Yep, yep. <laughs> that would definitely be a possibility there. So, uh, yeah, I I think what I need to do is is grind out the the making of all these uh, blocks and uh, get myself a, a Woot Factory up in place and working. And I think this will definitely fit within a chunk. Uh, yeah. So that will uh, that will work nicely. Yeah, because the, the, the other option for me, um, other than the, the Ender Chest, is the, I can't remember what the block's called now, um, that's, that's the same as the Tesseract, but for, for the modern, modern era of Minecraft. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know the block I mean, right? Yeah, it's an Ender IO. It is, Ender yes. IO? Yeah, it is Ender IO, I think. But I used it. I used it quite a lot um, previously. I think on the Avant server. Mm -hmm. And I found it really, really handy. The only, the only limitation I, I seem to remember was the amount of power that it can yes. that it can release. So yeah, when you do it, so, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, no, carry on. <laughs> yeah, it's a dimensional transceiver, is what it is. Yes, dimensional transceiver. So was that your uh, Minecraft phone ringing there? Uh, no, that was the phone <laughs> that should never ring ringing, and it's it's uh, niece the duck farmer saying, "Hey, where are you? You're supposed to be picking me up from work right now, and and I'm not, but Mrs. the duck farmer is, and right. she's calling home. So yeah, that." I just decided I would completely ignore her because that's a, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> awesome. Okay, then. So, uh, well, what now? What now? What should we do uh, now? That's a very good question. I, I alluded <laughs> your uh, nether stars, so um, I, I yeah. think I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I've got, a few, I've got a few nether stars as well. I yeah, guess. Um, I guess we're sort of going to go on and make our nether star generators, really. Yeah. Uh, I've got to I say, was wondering if you hadn't made those yet. No, I haven't. I haven't yet. <laughs> well, I think if you were to make uh, put your generator back here at the far end, I think you're far enough away from everything else that you could actually access the the woot farm itself and the chest and not take any damage from the the generator. Yeah, I could do, or I could make use of the dimension that we've just made. Mm -hmm. Yep. Free <laughs> dimension. 
I know we do. I'm definitely going to grab a load more of the ectoplasm there to get that up to build height. Yeah, fun. yeah, I'm go I'm gonna do the same thing, and <laughs> you know, I'm I'm really glad that that Toddy mentioned you know doing the the, the woot farm with the, uh, the the Nether Star generator, and then doing it in there, yeah, because definitely. I like the idea of having as as little resources being used on the server as possible. So having one loaded chunk right now, I've got four, yeah. but if I can reduce that to one, I think that's a, a much better deal than um, having multiple chunks loaded yeah I, do you know that the idea of having storage in there having having the remote the remote access storage is is a really good one because mm -hmm. you know that's that's definitely somewhere where you can save um a chunk yep. load like i said i don't really want to i don't really want to move this yeah, yeah, because that, that's a uh, that's a bit of work to to move it. Although once you've got the 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 builder block, it it outlines what it is, and so that that goes yes, in fairly easy. It, it but does. but yeah, I, I know exactly. I mean, you've got a nice room laid out. You've got all the quartz laid out. Nah, yeah, there's there's no real need to to move but that. Plus you know, plus you know what my my attention span is like. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. those different blocks, yeah. different colors. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it's one of those things that Schematica is your friend. I Indeed. love that. I've so, never yeah. used it yet. I, really? I see you guys. Yeah, I've seen I've seen you use it, and I've seen Technojot use it, but, yeah, I've not used it myself as yet. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I figure I should build something once, and then I can sit there and use Schematica to, to copy that over, you know, because I've, I've built this by hand, you know, already, and, and I don't feel the need to, to, you know, prove that I can build it again. And yeah. uh, plus, I, I, had, I had it underneath my, uh, I guess it was the FTB Beyond server. I had it underneath my, my, um, oh, hello there, Nerman. I had it underneath my, uh, my Blood Magic Altar because I was using that to feed my blood magic altar and decided to move it so it was all within one chunk. This is like an unkillable Enderman. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what was going on with that? <laughs> yeah, so I decided to move it all within one chunk because what was happening is uh, the, the Woot Farm was within, I think it was like three, four different chunks because I built it right on the boundary. And consequently, uh, when people would fly in and load things up, it would be broken, and as soon as they broke a block and put, replaced it, then everything was happy again and reform. Yeah, yeah, so, I, yeah. That's that's one thing I should do. Really, I never check that. I never check the chunk boundaries. Ah, uh, yes. Stuff yeah. down. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You got it across two two chunks here. Yeah, that's going to be a season six thing for me. <laughs> for definite. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I, I, most of the time, chunks don't matter too much, but every so often they'll reach up and bite you in the butt. So, yeah, it's yes, uh, worth, worth checking. And it's indeed. 11 by 11, so it'll definitely fit in a chunk. <laughs> cool, cool. Okay, well, cool. so... Yeah, no, go. go. You were about to say something. Oh, no, I was just going to say I was going to run over and, and get me a whole bunch of uh, ectoplasm because, uh, you know, same thing. I, I want ectoplasm, but uh, I'll, I'll give you for, first uh, first dibs at the, the, the blazes and you can go ahead and have fun with them because I, I <laughs> I, the, the niece is coming uh, home really soon. And so, uh, you know, there'll be interruptions. So you, <laughs> I'm going to have to stop recording real soon anyway. Cool. Well, Grok, thanks ever so much for showing us how to do that today, mate. That yeah, is, you're, um, you're I didn't welcome. Even, I didn't even know that existed. I really, really didn't. That's so cool. I love little things like that. Mm -hmm. So helpful. Yeah. Well, I, so. I blame Toddy for for showing that off, and and I was going, ooh, that's such a good idea. I gotta do that. I gotta Indeed. do that. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Indeed. So. So yeah, you guys should uh, definitely, definitely, definitely go and check out Toddy's channel. Check his uh, check his <laughs> videos out. And yep. uh, Grok's doing a little bit of premature wave in there. I think just oh, no, perhaps no. exercising. I, I just waving to you guys watching. <laughs> exercising <laughs> um, the arm. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to get myself the right way around. That isn't the right way around. So we, we are professionals, as I said before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. There we go. That works. So, yeah, I have, uh, I've been Relic and Grok has been Grok. And thanks ever so much for joining us, guys. And take care. And I will see you soon.
Well, we'll see you soon. Oh, yeah. And make Bye. sure you check out Grass Channel. <laughs> Bye. And relics. <laughs> Bye. Bye.